Now let's go and hit on the cameras really quickly. Now they have pretty much the same exact cameras on the back, 12 megapixel wide angle lenses, and they have pretty much the same front cameras as well. Between both the iPhone 8 and the iPhone SE 2, I never really found a difference. I did a full camera comparison between these phones as well, and they had the same type of capability, 4K 60 on the back. You can do 4K 60 on the iPhone 8, but you can also do 4K 60 on the iPhone you know, SE 2, which is another big thing. The camera quality is great, no portrait mode on this phone, the iPhone SE 2 does have portrait mode, which is a pretty big thing, but I do think the iPhone SE 2's camera, as I mentioned before, if you have the opportunity to, using this camera is probably the better thing to do. You're going to be getting better quality photos, better quality videos. Like I mentioned before, you do have that portrait mode capability, which I think is a really awesome thing, and you do have 4K at 60 on this one too, but I think between both, as I mentioned year after year, these cameras, I mean, the cameras hold up extremely well over time. I mean, I, I can definitely, I can't even tell that big of a difference to be honest. This is one example of a photo, but as I mentioned before, I've done a lot of camera comparisons between these two phones, and I saw that time after time, the iPhone SE 2 did a really good job. I think the iPhone 8 still does a great job as well, but the iPhone SE 2's camera, I think, is the better one when it comes down to it. So when it comes down to the camera setup, especially now in 2021, I think the iPhone SE 2 is a no-brainer, but the iPhone 8 still has a lot of capability for sure. So to kind of...